Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Protobuffers, and today I'm going to be showing you the new uh, Tiny Tina Wonderland save editor. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head into the description and find the uh, GitHub for the uh, Tiny Tina Wonderland save editor. Once we click on that tab, click on the, the uh, zip file, and we've now uh, downloaded the uh, zipped save editor. Since this is a Windows based editor, you will need something to extract it such as WinRAR or 7-zip. However, Windows 10 and 11 should be able to decompress the file without any issues. So to decompress this, all we're going to do is right click it and extract here. From here, we're just going to open up the new file that was created and click on TTW save editor .exe. So if you still have the, the uh, first version of the save editor, you should go ahead and update now because if you've accidentally clicked on the redux mode, you will know that you uh, could not open the save editor anymore. So now you can enable redux mode. However, I have not included the item since redux is against modding. Yeah, don't know about that one, but you can enable and disable redux now. It should automatically open the folder which your PC save should be found. All you have to do is open the weird name folder and all your save should be inside of there. This is under uh, my PC, documents, my games, Tiny Tino's Wonderlands, saved, saved games, and then the weird name folder. For the exploited PS4, we can either use the Apollo save tool or we can use the save mounter tool. So to start, what we're going to need to do is enable our gold hen. Here. Once we have gold hen active, what we want to do is go down to our service settings and make sure that we have both FTP and bin loader enabled. Bin loader is only needed if we are using a save mounter though. So for the Apollo save tool, all we're gonna do is go to our HDD saves. We would find our save and then we would export the decrypted save files where you can find them in your FTP right here. You can also use save mounter here. You would do send a payload, then connect. We would patch get users, get our games, and if we want the uh, game patches, we can get the uh, titles as well, and then we just find the Tiny Tina's Wonderlands search, and then we could just mount our save and FTP, which we would find at mount PFS, and then our save data. So to copy our save from PS4, the first thing we're going to want to do is head down to our settings, go to save data, and then find our save data on console and copy it to an external device. Jumping straight in the save wizard, all we're going to do is open the save, right click it, and then open advanced mode. And now that our advanced mode is open, export to file, choose whatever location we want to keep this in, and name it dot json getting into the uh, general tab the first thing you're going to notice is the uh, platform this is how we're going to be uh, saving our output file so we can either choose a pc uh, decrypted the ps4 or save wizard json file the uh, next thing we have here is the uh, save guid this is basically a, a special number that every character is given to make sure that they uh, don't collide you can just hit randomize just to be uh, safe every time you either edit your character or create a new one now if you're copying your save to a new one say you want to make eight and then change it to nine you'll notice that your characters will disappear on wonderlands to fix that you are going to have to manually change the save game slot so this number here if we wanted to copy the r8.save and rename it to a nine.save we would have to come in and change this to nine or else our save nine would not appear in game until we actually change this value now the uh, total time played it really doesn't matter unless we end up exceeding the uh, maximum value i'm not sure what it is offhand in the uh, days format like this but just don't your game will freeze <laughs> 
So looking at the uh, character tab, the first thing we're going to see is our character uh, name. We can change our character's name, the uh, pronoun that they're addressed by, and our companion name. However, I suggest changing the companion name if you do have one in the raw tab. The next thing that we're going to see is the inventory slots. Currently, you can see that we do not have any unlocked. And in game, we currently uh, do not have any of our uh, slots unlocked, just so I can show you that it does unlock them. Next up, you will see that our uh, max chaos level in our current is 50, which is right as well. Next, we have our uh, level and skill points. Well, the uh, skill points can lie depending on if you mod your skill tree, just know that it's always a, a little bit of a, a touchy subject whenever you do start modding your skill trees so as you can see even with the, the modded skill trees our uh, skills are still locked since we do not meet the uh, level requirements next we can also uh, change our classes to uh, whatever uh, we are wanting and finally uh, we have our heroic stats i suggest choosing none and then just ramping them all up to the maximum that they can be however you can cause your game not to uh, load properly if you set them uh, too high so here we can just change them all to a 30 and just a reminder on pc whenever we go to a save we're going to make sure we uh, quit the game first before we go ahead and click save Then we're going to uh, reload our character. Finally, click continue. And now we are at level 40 with Chaos 100. All of our slots are unlocked and our hero stats are, well, maxed out since our myth rank is modded anyway. So getting into a fast travel, you will see that we now have the last fast travel station active so we can swap locations. We're, right now, we're going to need to gather all of the data for all of the locations for this and then compile a list of the locations and their name if we want to uh, make a better last travel station. The game only has normal Vault Hunter mode, so don't even worry about this. And then we can enable and disable However, enabling all locations, you could potentially run into some issues whenever you go to travel locations if you travel too early on in the game. So it's not really recommended to touch this unless you've already beaten the main story. Just use this so you can teleport to like Mount Crawl faster. Now getting into the inventory tab, you will see that we have the same visual aesthetic as the Zachism editor. All we have to do is, you know, click parts and we will go ahead and remove them and just add them back by clicking them back. We also have the uh, loot lemon feature so we can search through loot lemon and get our ambulance, rings, palindromes, spell mods, shields and weapons just click import and it will be right in your inventory so while this editor is new and represents the zachism editor we do not have the part information currently for generating the effects so you can't just go ahead and search for anything like damage but something that you can do is open up the zachism editor and find a weapon that is similar so here we have a torg heavy weapon and then all we would do is search for damage skip weapon specific and we can see here we could get a 10 percent damage bonus from the barrel 01a so what we do here is just search for 01a and we could add all the damage parts now onto the raw tab i'm not going to go over everything in this tab a lot of this stuff is not really important or needs to be changed as well but i will show you a few things so for modding your skill points the ability data is going to be everything that you need we're going to come down to the tree item list getting into the ability data you're going to have to pay attention to your uh, character as you're going to have to choose your character and make sure you are using the right skill trees otherwise the points will not count towards your skill tree i have not tried modding another character skill tree on top of yours though since it's not active i can only assume 
So if you want to actually try that, go ahead, because I have not yet. But you will want to find your active class and then just change the points accordingly to whatever you want. If you go too high, you will have issues in the LC areas where doors and stuff won't unlock. The next thing I want to talk about is the experience points. If you set this to 99,999,999 or higher, your character will not save whenever you join another player's lobby so that means that if you join a player drop all your goods and back out you will actually end up keeping everything whenever you go back to your lobby so this is a good thing to do if you don't want to make a progression in other people's lobby or you want to make a drop character the resource pools is something that we're not going to worry about since if we make the values too high our game will no longer load so please don't go crazy trying to make yourself have unlimited ammo it will not work in the uh, saved regions, we can uh, edit the uh, game stage. On console, you will get to a point where the enemy health will become uh, more than the max value you can handle and just drop all the way down. That's how you know you have reached a limit. About 870 is going to be the highest level that you can achieve. Realistically, if you're playing legit, you're not going to be able to kill these people. Also, you will have to turn the chaos mode off in order to use the game stage properly. Turning it back on will immediately disable the game stage changes. Now, one thing that is really fun to do is the custom float customizations. You can change this and make your character absolutely ridiculous. You can make them the size of an ant, so slow that the game just can't handle it, or even make yourself a giant. And finally, getting into the profile editor, you will have to load your profile save. PlayStation 4 Save Wizard does not support advanced mode for the PlayStation 4 profile saves, so you will need an exploited PlayStation 4. And just follow the process at the beginning and the end of this video in order to decrypt and encrypt your save properly. When on PC, if you are going to save, make sure that you are on the title screen where it says press any button to play or that you have the game closed and cloud save is turned off. If you save and it's still not working, you're probably starting the game too fast from the title screen. Save and wait about 30 seconds before you actually enter the game. So here you can just edit your myth stats, just type in everything you want. I don't suggest putting your loot luck over this value here since everything starts breaking once you get too high of a level. Your SDUs, again, if you go too far past the maximum, they will break and the game will not load properly. And getting into the raw tab, there's nothing really important in here outside of the player prestige where we can just change our prestige experience. Another thing to note is if your base FOV goes above the max, your game will be literally unplayable. So to save on PC, all we're going to do is keep our platform on PC and go ahead and click save. Now, if we do want to create a new save off of the save, we are going to need to change the slot type and randomize the save GUID. Then when we hit save as, we would just rename it to something like 9 instead of 8. Saving to a uh, decrypted uh, PlayStation 4 save, what we do is hit the uh, platform and then change it to a PS4, save as, and as you can see, the uh, save as type is only a dot save. However, we're going to remove the uh, dot save whenever we finish saving it. So going back to our exploited uh, PlayStation 4, on save mounter, we have our save that is mounted and we can find it in uh, mount EFS save data. It's going to be the same place if you're using Apollo. All you'll have to do is find your save. Make sure it has no dot save at the end of it and you would just drag it back in but make sure that you have changed everything in the param sfo and created a new save if you do plan on changing the save slot though you can watch umg 000 to find out how to do that after your, your save has finished transferring all you have to do is unmount and if he was using the apollo save tool what we want to do is import the decrypted save file finally 
Finally, for saving to a PS4 save wizard, we're going to change the uh, platform to JSON and then save as. From here, we just have to uh, name our save 9.json or whatever we want to name it. We're going to open the save that we're going to replace in advanced mode. Open our uh, JSON output save. We're going to highlight everything, copy it. And then in advanced mode, we're going to highlight everything and paste. From here, all we will do is hit apply. And our new save is now on top of our old save.